what's up y'all welcome back to my youtube before we start i want you to get into the look because we are putting in effort today we got the earrings here and this is from my friend's shop vibes bruja so i will link that this was a gift um a couple of birthdays ago from my friend tuki shout out tuki and I'm gonna show you my shoe because y'all ain't about to put my feet on feet finder because my feet are pretty. We got the house shoe, which is given also. So um I'm gonna try to make this quick. I don't know how quick it's gonna be, but I have to come and kind of confess something. Um and I've kind of been lying to everybody. So for the past, maybe now four and a half, going on five months. But this video is gonna back it up a little bit. But I just want to say like, sometimes things change. My family, I kind of thought it would always look one way. And me and my husband have been together for, 12 years at this point and I thought we'd always be a family of four and it'd be me and him and the boys and that be it I kind of had married myself to that but unfortunately that is not the case anymore and I think we both kind of been in denial so that's why we've been keeping this kind of quiet so, I haven't told anybody, but my mama, and he's told his best friend, that's as far as it's gone. But, yes, y'all, I am pregnant. I'm pregnant! <laughs> and I am now out of the first trimester. And I think like we both been a river in Africa called denial because what? Like, I did not think that I would have more kids. We weren't trying to have more kids. We are like, where did this come from? But apparently it's here and it's happening. So we kind of now that we're out of the first trimester, we got to wrap our minds around the fact and get ready for the fact that we're about to have another kid. And that is mind blowing crazy to say, like very much so crazy. And I think we're now getting to the point where it's even real kind of, but still not kind of, but you know, so. I just wanted to come and kind of sum up how the first trimester went because ooh, it was rough when I can't even say rough isn't even the word. Like, and kind of connect with some other moms. That's how I originally started on YouTube. That's why my name is what it is. Sharing things with my children so i've kind of taken a step back done some other things some other topics but now we're full circle because we're back here like and i'm not a spring chicken anymore that was years ago so basically the first trimester went bad how i found out i was pregnant in the first place I like knew immediately coming from seeing the spider-man movie i took my sons to go see spider-man and if you haven't seen it spoiler alert there's a character in it named jessica that's my name hey i'm jessica and when she busts out in the scene i'm like oh yeah go girl and then on her motorcycle she whipped the motorcycle around and jessica is pregnant i'm like oh she pregnant Literally, y'all, on the way back home from seeing Miles Morales, I got nauseous in the car, and it's nighttime, and I'm like, oh, what is this? And this is the week 
that I'm supposed to get my cycle. So I'm like, sometimes I do get nauseous, but not nauseous like this, not just like I'm about to throw up. So I light bulbs went off. Like I feel like the universe was telling me, girl, the movie told you, now I'm telling you, hey, you pregnant girl. So the first pregnancy test I took, it was a faint positive. I went to an actual doctor and took the pregnancy test and they told me it was like a barely positive and that's probably because I am very early, like right when you know you're pregnant. And that's what it was. So after that, I started like going down, y'all, down, down, down to the point where I had to go check into the hospital. So I was diagnosed with um, a couple of things. Um, I forget how you say it. Hyperdrivism? Child, I'm probably making it up. I'm finna tell y'all. Hold on. Hyper grad, nope, still say that wrong. Hypermesis gravidarium. So if you've had that, and I had that my first pregnancy, not my second, but if you've had that, you know, like you go down, down, can't keep anything down, can't keep water down, like nothing. I'm not even that big and I started losing weight. Like it started affecting me to where I couldn't, do anything so i got diagnosed with that then i got diagnosed with um a child this is when you know that you're pregnant because you can't remember anything what's it called with the hemorrhage a placenta hemorrhage so that was scary um and then kind of like just to get through not being able to eat anything, drink anything, I kind of had to take matters into my own hands. Like, so I'm gonna tell you how I got through it. Basically, before I got prescribed the medication, there was a few things. And this sounds weird, sour gummy worms. These were hidden. She could keep these down. Not this flavor, but in general, sunflower seeds also hit it anything sour and salty your girl could do like i could like i could eat this i could do grapes sour grapes not sweet grapes i could do strawberries if i put some lemon juice on them it cut the sweetness a little bit gave it a little tang i could do that so that's pretty much how i was living like lemons and limes i could do that too that is how i was living crackers like literally on death's door, barely making it, not able to get up. I thank God, like I work from home, but that is how I made it. I did the C bands. Like I just got out to a point now that I've gotten out the first trimester semester job that I can actually eat food and keep things down and enjoy food, have a little cup of cappuccino because before, I'm telling you, sleep was the only thing that was doing it for your girl. Like, I'ma just go to sleep because I can't do nothing. And still, I still gotta do my regular activities. I still gotta take kids, pick kids up, baseball games, back and forth, school drop off, like still do the things. And shout out to my husband, my man, Thank you for my man, cause he was feeding, getting the food, doing the cleaning, cause your girl was out of commission. And like, to any of my friends, I'm sorry I've been lying to y'all. Y'all ain't know, it's live on mission. Like anytime people have bought up pregnancy, having another kid, I've just been on hush. Because if you know me, you know I've always said, I don't want no more kids. People ask me, are y'all gonna have a daughter? No, I don't want another baby.
keep the pregnancy vibes away from me. I feel like my mama prayed this on me and some of my friends prayed this on me because clearly y'all been praying a little harder than me. I need to go back to the prayer closet because how'd I get got? Like, so that's really all I wanted to come and say. And I don't know when this video is going out, but it's definitely going out with the meme of the little boy crying, talking about I'm pregnant, because that's the vibe this is giving. And I'm grown, grown. And it's still, it's giving scared. It's giving, what am I going to do? How this happened? What were we doing? We know what we was doing. And I feel like now everybody else going to know what we was doing. So that's it, y'all. I'll probably come back and kind of say how the second trimester went, but that's usually easy breezy. How the third trimester went. If y'all are pregnant and you scared too, leave a comment, girl, so we can be scared together. And if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. I am and been saying I'm going to get back on my YouTube and stop just saying that because back in the days i used to be consistent on here when i actually was uploading and recording and editing so we gonna see how that goes i got something to hyper focus on now so usually that's good for me but again if you pregnant if you 30s and pregnant, please help a sister out. How? And then I'm not even saying nothing about being old. I don't feel old. I don't look old. I don't subscribe to old. But the last time I had a baby was eight years ago. It's given. How are you doing this again? Like, It's giving scared. <laughs>